Combustion of glucose, the oxidation in your body, releases around 3,000 kilojoules per mole. How efficiently is that energy stored as ATP? 100, 60, or 40 percent? Think about that for a minute and make a selection. Let's look at a possible explanation for each answer. A, energy must be transferred 100% efficiently in the body because there is no loss. B, this is the maximum efficiency achievable even in an engine. Or C, 40 ATP at 30 kilojoules per mole is only 40% of the energy released from a mole of glucose. Think about those three and make a selection. We're talking about capturing the energy from the combustion of glucose as ATP. So when glucose is catabolized, 3,000 kilojoules per mole of energy is released. How much can be captured as ATP? Well, let's look back. When ATP is hydrolyzed from ATP to ADP, adenosine diphosphate, 30 kilojoules per mole is released. So if we're going to form ATP, we need to absorb 30 kilojoules per mole. So in the combustion of glucose, these 3,000 kilojoules are captured in 30 kilojoule packets in each mole of ATP. So 38 moles of ATP are formed when one mole of glucose is catabolized. Each captures about 30 kilojoules per mole for a total of 1,200 kilojoules. So 1,200 kilojoules of the 3,000 kilojoules is captured. So that's around 40%. Your body operates at about 40% efficiency in transferring the energy from the catabolism of glucose and storing it as ATP.